What's going on everyone? My name is Skiz. Welcome back to another episode of our graffiti freight train watching series here where we take a look at a lot of the great graffiti, the tags, the throws, the pieces, all being displayed on these beautiful sort of moving art galleries that are here for those of us who are smart enough to look at them, or those of you who are smart enough to look at them, I should say. So, we got plenty behind me here. We're basically just gonna run down this line quickly and get the hell out of here. So I'll jump right into it. If you do want your very own Tags, Throws, and Pieces shirt, check the first link in the description. It's a great way to meet other writers out in public, actually. When they see you wearing this, they'll say hi to you. They will. I might have a bit less stuff to say about some of this stuff. For those who are new to this series on the channel, welcome. You should check some of the other stuff out on the channel. This is sort of a series that's a little bit different than some of the other stuff we do. But we usually try and discuss a lot of the stuff that's on these crates a little bit from an artistic perspective. Talking about a lot of the, the artistic concepts going on in the tags, throws, and pieces on these lines. And of course it's great to be able to see different graffiti coming out of different graffiti communities across the continent, really. I gotta show you something on this line though. Awesome. I know I've asked this question before, but pieces on tankers, are they not the best thing in the world? Let me know in the comments. I think what it is about them is the black background on these tankers really helps a lot of pieces stand out an extra degree, and that sort of effect should not be underestimated. Denver as well, nice. Ooh. Gorgeous swear tag there, that is awesome. And see, this is where I just wanna make the same sort of simplistic point that I make all the time. Very boxy start to the S, boxy sort of finish to the R on the first and last letters. That's by design, guys. Like, that doesn't happen by accident. You do need to think of that stuff to round your tag off and, and to make it symmetrical, consistent all the way through with the th middle three letters, the size of them, the midline between here, 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 the W connections and sort of the, the curve around the S here. Something else further, just the line on, on the little asterisks here. And these lines are about that same height as well. And that's all by design, right? Like, the same thing I was saying last episode, um, conceptually very simple stuff, yet so many people can't make a good tag. And that just goes to show why it's important to be aware of a lot of these concepts and how that sort of stuff plays out, like balance and, I'm sorry my shoulder's killing me if I'm waving it around like an idiot, but balance, uniformity, direction, like even just leaning each letter the same way, just little stuff like that that some people it makes sense once it's explained to them, but if you, it's not something you've ever looked at, you wouldn't understand it necessarily, maybe. Here's a good example of just what I mean, even leaning the letters the same way. They're all slightly leaned to the left. Could be a left-hander. Left-handers tend to do that.
And that same thing goes with throwies, of course. This is obviously very left-leaning, and that's necessary for each letter to be like that. One of the things we love to discuss when we come and do these free watching episodes is just where these where these people are from. Not necessarily like specifics, like obviously don't give away any security details, but we love talking about writers who are in certain areas a lot, um, who you see everywhere. Got all these spec tags here. And just things like that, and really making those connections to the real world graffiti communities that are putting in this work. <laughs> seven. Seven, just like uh, GR writes. He's always putting sevens up. Man, I'm really feeling these spec tags. These are great. We got Rich here. Shout out to Rich. ITD, I assume? That's awesome. Yeah, ITD. Guy are keeping it simple, perfect, perfect. Chromies with the homies. Ooh, we got a mason tag here That's awesome. Also, I'll just mention, you know, there's three dots three lines three dots Simple stuff some would say that's overdoing it a little bit But that really is just assisting the whole uniformity and the balance of a tag We're seeing a lot of new names today. If I have a bit less to say about some of the stuff today, and it's in that sort of montage format, it is me trying to test that out to see how you guys sort of like that format. So let me know if you're enjoying that, or if you like sort of the, the traditional way we do the graffiti break train watching series here. And I, I take your guys' feedback. When, when it comes to things like that, obviously, everyone knows we have the best graffiti community in the world right here on the channel. So, yeah, of course I'm going to listen to you guys. We've got... Tons of freight watching episodes here on the channel. I will link the beginning of season two of freight watching on screen now for you guys to check out. There's tons of other series we do here on the channel as well that I'd encourage you to check out. I'll link one of our best videos that I really like that's come out recently on the channel if you want to check that out as well. Although there's a lot of series that have to do with graffiti on this channel, what they all have in common is our community here really tries to celebrate all forms of graffiti. And I never really come out and say that clearly but that is really what we're here to do whether it be those awesome graffiti product reviews our freight train watching series like this even when they're mostly tankers <laughs> the graffiti is what this channel is so take a look around see if you like it feel free to pick up a tag throw some pieces shirt in an assortment of colors first link in the description as well that helps to support the channel it's one of the best things you can do to support the channel and it actually gets you a pretty awesome shirt real nice comfy material as well nice for uh, hot sunny days when you're out with the, the crew maybe Tune in for the next video. If you are interested in that next video, obviously subscribing to the channel, all that kind of stuff, makes it more likely you'll see that stuff on your homepage. So check those videos out maybe. Peace.